back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs. And in today's video, this could be to potentially something quite special. I have never, ever done what we're going to be doing today. And that is hopefully buying a storage unit. It was always a goal of mine this year to buy a storage unit and just see what we can find. What we're going to do is going to flip the camera around. We've got about 10 to five, well, five or 10 minutes left of the auction. And hopefully we can snipe it. I think it's currently on for about 160 pound. I've done some totting up and I think we're going to go as high as 511 pound and 68 P. So hopefully we can snipe it lastminute.com. And hopefully this video actually continues. So come along with me and I'll show you exactly what the unit is and how much we spent. And we're going to go through the unit together. This is something quite special. I've always, like I said, I've always wanted to do it. And today could be, it could be the day. The unit in question, £172 with six minutes to go. We're going to slap a £511 and 64p bid on it because we've found some stuff in there. That would easily cover the cost of this, which hopefully the other guys or the other bidders haven't noticed. But we are very confident with a £511.64. Why the random number? Because why not? I think it's quite good for eBay because some people will obviously only put a bid of about 510 So if we bid up 511 and 64 then we will probably snipe it between that. So... Fingers crossed we can win this. We've got approximately six minutes and 18 seconds to go. Here we go, 27 seconds to go. I'm gonna put the bid in in a second. We're gonna review the bid. <sighs> Here we go. Ooh, I'm excited and nervous. Right, last 15 to 10 seconds, we're gonna confirm this bid and fingers crossed we've won it. Three, two, one. Confirming that bid. It's at 255 quid, 465. Uh, did we win? We won! <laughs> Oh, no, hang on. We've got to refresh the page. What's going on? Congratulations, you won the auction. Next, complete your payment. Thinking, come on! Yeah, we've ruined a little bit of it, but £465. So it's in fact the next day, and what a day we've picked to go in the MTA, an abandoned storage unit. It's absolutely heaving outside. The storm, the weather, it's atrocious, but hopefully we've got some absolute beautiful gems hidden away in the storage unit that we've just brought. Super duper excited. I'm gonna take you beautiful faces along with me and let's see what we have got. If we can get 150 likes in today's video, we're definitely gonna be buying another one. I'm gonna do this in two parts. Uh, I'm gonna do like a, a, a sort of like a what's sold in a couple of months time from the storage unit. Enough waffling on, let's get in and see what we have uh, what we have brought. <laughs> really, no, I'm just gonna go with the flow. Wowzers. Well, uh, this is an interesting book. Now this is what we saw on the oh, listing. No. That's what we want. This clock here should be uh, about fifteen hundred pound. <laughs> well, we made a little bit of a dent. Another high gear slumber camp bed. That's two of these. Should be about forty quid each. They look good as well. Happy days. There's some good money in this. A brand new Euro Hike Adventure sleeping bag. Gotta be 25 in that, surely. But this clock is about seven foot tall. I didn't realize how big it was gonna be. Proper cast iron as well, so we should be able to get like 14, 1500 pound for this beauty. Well, so this is the tent that was in the bag. Uh, eight burghouse tent, that's gotta be worth a fair and cheeky bit. We've just opened this. There is a lot of fishing trophies. Let's have a look. Spring league club trophy 2010 there could be some good money in this a used toothbrush does anyone want a used toothbrush Ew. just a little update on the burghouse tent we have actually looked at some sold and we can get in and around the 300 to 600 pound mark on an eight person tent <sighs> well into profit right we are making a bit of a dent but not as much as i thought but I've just seen this, which we're gonna obviously try and sell on Facebook if it's working. It is actually a nine kilogram one, so it's not actually a small bit of geezer, is it? It's a, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a beast. Should be able to get like maybe even a hundred pound for that. But we've got uh, three crates of Corona extra, full of DVDs. But we'll, uh, yeah, I'll update you when we get any further. But this is definitely the standout of the the unit. This Howard Miller. 
It's a heavy thing. I'm not really sure how we are going to post this. We're going to probably list it on Facebook as well, see if we can shift it locally. Just pulled out this box of random miss stuff. I have no idea what's going to be in here. We've got a couple of remotes. We've got a couple of, uh, well, I'm running out of shower gel, to be fair. But that's always a result. Nice cheeky links black. Got a couple of CDs, a big Rod Stewart fan I see, and a fishing fan. Kaiser Chiefs, what else we got? Coldplay. Got some nice little bit of media going on in here. A bit of Neo. Come closer. Some fireworks for the new year. What we saying, boys? Can you sell fireworks? I don't even think you're supposed to be able to store fireworks in a, in a container like this, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, we'll just uh, put that back. A cheeky little Nescafe Dolce DeLonghi thingy my bobby. That's got to be worth a bit of money. An easy, what, 25 quid if it's all there? I'm not sure if it's supposed to have something on the back. I think it probably is, but if it's all there, it probably it probably is there. We should be looking at like 30 quid-ish minimum. I think this is just a Sainsbury's angled poised lamp. Nice black one. Should be a few, few bob in that as well. Maybe like 10, 15 quid. Right, we've got a box of stuff. Let's see what's inside here. We're gonna open it up together. Oh my jeez. It's just full of, can you imagine if that was Burberry? It looks quite like Burberry, doesn't it? But it's not. Uh, it's just full of jewelry. I would have absolutely no idea what any of this thing is. If any of you guys know what any of this is in the comment section below, then just drop a message. There's probably just a load of toot. Got a couple of queens in here. That's the main thing. Some of this has got some decent RRP, but like I said, I have no idea what anything of any of this at all at all just a quick tip like i've said before in a previous video of mine maybe six months ago but this stuff is really good if you're working in a garage it's good for your feet and it keeps the garage a little bit more warmer and it's just a little bit more of a pleasant environment they literally just connect together and it just you know if you are working out of a garage it is proper proper good bobby dazzler as they would say down south a camping fishing it's just full ah oh, this is probably the pods that go with dolce de longy thingy dolce de longy thing i think this sort of stuff can sell pretty well not too sure if you can sell on ebay but you can definitely get a few bob for this sort of stuff this bag is just like full of like fishing stuff so you've got some barbless hooks you've got like some pellet feeders it's literally just full of fishing stuff matrix is a semi-decent brand in fishing got some boilies bikes it's literally just full to the brim of stuff fishing wise not mega mega value in them individually but if you were to bundle some of this together i'd say quite comfortably another 25 quid to add to the tally this is a freaking minging <laughs> now this is a beast of a extension lead with the old free phase as well high gear that's got to be like freeway maybe mobile it's a freaking got everything this thing's a beast should be like looking at sold should be like 50 quid so yeah happy with that ah we are actually getting somewhere now we've got 17 bags of clothing and roughly about 70 pairs of shoes to go through as well and a few boxes of uh media we are getting there Obviously, we have to take everything, but for 460 quid, I think our money is 110% safe with this. So when we get back, I will go through some of this media. I'm not going to bore you now with it because I don't think there is going to be much in the media side of things. If there is anything, I'll show you, obviously, when I'm back home. I'm not going to waste my time unloading it and going through it in the unit, but we've definitely got some, some nice boxes full. Oh, my days. There's some kickers. There's some Rockport XCS and I think they were Nitsuki Tigers. What? Definitely Rockports. Definitely kickers. These might even be kickers as well. And I think they are Nitsuki Tigers. Nice. Rockport. They're in really nice condition as well. They look like they've probably not even been used. Right, look what we found. A couple of boxed iPod shuffles. And I believe they are all in there. Not every day you see a box iPod shuffle, is it? Huh? That's fucking some sort of history. History. Two of them as well. Very nice. So we have a couple of pair of beautiful uh, sun loungers. They should be about 30 quid each in the summer. So 30, it's like 60 pound on a couple of sun loungers. Hey, this, this game is, this game is fun. Boxed iPod shuffles aren't the greatest of monies, but they are just 
quite cool to see. I'd say probably about £20 each. So that's another £40 added to the total. Another pair of a decent size kickers. Again, I don't think they've really been used. And all most of the trainers so far are coming in these like sort of like plastic boxes as well. So they've been like kept and stored really, really, really well. Uh, yeah. Literally boxes and boxes of shoes. Look, we've got some Michael Kors. We've got some Uggs up there as well. I know they're only Faith, but the brand new Faith suede with an RRP. Well, maybe not brand new actually. Ah, unless that's just dust. Oh, that's just dust. Give them a quick wipe out. We'll probably sell them as new other uh, in the box. They're quite cool, aren't they? But we are getting there slowly but surely. And yes, we still got to tackle the freaking washing machine. I'm literally just taking this downstairs. This is an air eight tent carpet. So this is like the base layer that you'd put on uh, underneath the tent. Obviously an eight man tent, triple layered. Uh, it's downstairs. So we can now add this with the bag, official bag, and should be able to get like 40 odd quid for that. So uh, another 40 pounds to the uh, total. <laughs> Woo. Oh, and uh, yeah, even more books. Let's research this together. This is the Reader's Digest Encyclopedia of Garden Plants and Flowers. I think it's like a 70s or maybe 80s book. I think I read somewhere 1978. This is the uh, second edition, so let's see how much it's worth. It's about £10 plus postage. It's another £10 added to that kitty. I think for the sake of this video, all the books, I'm going to put a comfortable £100. So... Add up the hundred pound onto the total. Another quick tip as well, when you find a load of bunch of fishing and carp DVDs, there are actually some good money in these sort of stuff. So I think we can probably bundle all this up and probably aim for around the 20 pound mark. So that's another 20 pound to the kitty. And like I said, I'm not even like, I've not even counted half of this stuff because half the stuff we don't actually know prices of. So this is just, Half of the uh, value of everything. I just opened this suitcase and we found Gucci Guilty Absolute Art. If only this was a little bit more fuller, probably worth selling, but there is literally only a tiny bit left. So, a pair of Uggs. Men's sort of like canvas, converse style, denim style Uggs. Gotta be at least 20 quid in them out as well. Finally, finally, finally get in there. We've got rid of the Tumble dryer, washing machine, whatever you want to call. We've got rid of the big clock. We've only got this left to tackle with. I think the majority of it is clothing and footwear. So we're just going to literally lob all this in the car and probably go through it when we get home. However, we have got some quite nice gazelles. We've got some nice Adidas superstars. We've got some Laura Ashley slip-ons. We've got some weird and wonderful sort of like Nike uh, sandal slip-on things. There are some nice bits, but obviously there is also some absolute crud like like i don't know you know what i mean there is there is some stuff that probably wouldn't resell on ebay but the majority of it is pretty good and what I literally just like uh, i don't even know i literally took a bag off and then there was a full team signed fuzzball from stoke city quite easy to find signatures because they've got numbers and names so like 27 24 it should be quite easy to identify the date uh with the signatures because they've been kind enough and left their shirt number with their signature for that that's an unexpected uh dub we are nearly nearly there look that's all we've got left we have got 17 bags of clothing for the sake of this video and for the sake of this time, I might update it in a couple of days time when we've gone through all these bags. But for the sake of these video, I'm literally just gonna put a 30 pound-ish value on each of the bags. So 30 times 17 is, mathematicals isn't my uh, strongest point. 400 quid-ish, there or thereabouts. So yeah, not too shibby shabby. And we've got some Rye Vita. Most like they've come back from holiday and just thought, you know what, we're just gonna leave all our holiday clothes in a bag and lob it in a storage unit. The jeans have still got their belts on and stuff like that. And some of the shoes have still got their socks in. One bag, two bags, three bags, five bags. So, you know I said about 400 pounds worth of clothing. I'm gonna be a bit more modest. I'm gonna say 200 pounds because we've gone through one bag and we found no items that are worth selling. <laughs> This better not be what I think it is. I think that might be a pair of knickers. Yeah, well, I've gone from £400 worth of clothing to £200 worth of clothing to probably about 50 quid because I think we might have to just weigh it all in and get gone. Or maybe donate it to a charity shop or something. We'll figure out something because I don't think there's much here to sell. Clothing-wise. Two and a half hours later, we've got an empty unit. Whew. 
I'm absolutely cream crackered. But I would say it's hard work. It's literally full of clothing and this pretty cool frame and a nice keep net. If you know what keep net is, then you must be into your fishing. If it is, that's probably worth about 50 quid. So another 50 quid add to the tally. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs and rabbits. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy that video, then please help us get to 150 likes on this video and we'll buy another abandoned storage unit. I am going to do this in a part two episode because part two, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail. I do think we've probably got about £3,000 worth of gear from that storage unit, which is absolutely freaking incredible. But in part two, we're going to go into a bit more detail about everything that we picked up. So, if you did enjoy that video, like I said, please do me one favour, smash the hell out of that like button. What a video. Something a bit unusual, something a bit cool, something a bit different. I've been a boy here, and I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Boom.